At one point in my adult life, I was homeless. I sent application form after application form, begging letter after begging letter, to Hampshire County Council asking for a council property or social housing. So they eventually replied and they said, because of what I am, I'm bottom of the list. Now, having served my country, uh, I was injured in Iraq, I lost part of my hearing. I was not only shocked, but angered to find that above me on that list, which they gave me, were migrants, both legal and illegal, refugees, and teenage single mothers. And at the bottom of this letter, it was signed off by someone with a not very British name. Now, you would think something like that would send me uh, into the arms of uh, extremists, but I'm not like that. I had more important and pressing things to worry about. And at the time, I wasn't very political, but it did get me thinking. And so fast forward 13 years later and we have the British taxpayer paying on behalf of the government billions of pounds for illegal migrants. We are not only housing these people, we are paying for their food, uh, welfare, clothing and even transport. And that's before we give them social housing. So I think the concerns and the uproar by the vast majority, I believe, of the British people over uh, this issue is, um, I think it's legitimate and needs to be taken seriously. Now, as you all know, unless you've been living on Mars, Britain has an illegal migrants pandemic. These people are rocking up on our southern coast in their tens of thousands, literally hundreds every day on little dinghies which they row over from France across the channel. These people are then either picked up by the authorities or they simply disappear, never to be seen or heard from ever again. Now there's an issue about calling these people invaders and this is an invasion. But I ask you, what else is it? If these people claim to be uh, fleeing persecution and discrimination from their own countries and they cross several safe countries to get here, then I ask again, what else is it? And in my view, I think the government are completely uh, mishandling the whole situation. This issue needs to be nipped in the bud and that's on the south coast. Now, if Rishi Sunak and the Tories, or the so-called Tories, if they can muster up billions of British taxpayers' money to give to Zelensky and the Ukraine at the click of his fingers, then surely they can fund some sort of organisation or authority to be based on the South Coast, manned by personnel who can apprehend these uh, illegal migrants and return them whence they came, or at the very least hold them somewhere offshore where they can be processed and we can sort out the genuine refugees from the shysters. The whole priority here is the safety of the British people. It is a sobering fact that over a thousand people in this country have been injured and between 30 to 40 British citizens have been murdered by terrorists of a certain culture and demographic. And we also know that ISIS have said in the past they will be putting members of their group amongst those coming over illegally on dinghies in order to carry out such acts. And on top of that, we have the Albanian uh, criminal gangs. So yeah, there's no way on this earth that every one of these people are genuine refugees. And so we come to the BB, is it BB or BB Stockholm barge? Well, that's currently moored on uh, Portsmouth, not Portsmouth, Portland, Portland Harbour. And it's there to house illegal migrants. Now, there's a massive uproar here on both sides of the divide or the political argument. You got the lefties first. They reckon uh, it's inhumane to put these people on a barge where they have free dental and health care and have a roof over their heads and they're fed as well, so they're being looked after. And then you have the vast majority of this country who are uh, against these people coming here in the first place and given such pampered treatment. And yes, it is pampered treatment because I am pretty sure a either a British citizen homeless or a armed forces veteran that is homeless would love a room on the baby or BB Stockholm barge where they get looked after a couple of hot meals a day, health care, dental care, their very own room and a warm bed with a television and a console, a computer console to play on to entertain them. And this is costing the British government via the British taxpayer a shitload of money. I don't understand the lefties' concern for people who come here illegally, have no ties to this country or this island whatsoever, and insisting that the taxpayer spends billions on them, bending over backwards for them. Meanwhile, we have old-age pensioners and homeless on our streets, 
who are having great difficulty uh, paying for food and getting a doctor's appointment. The whole thing's just completely upside down, isn't it? These people, uh, it shouldn't be our priority. It should be our own. And it's not racist or xenophobic or anything to say so. Now, we have friends in Portland and they are greatly concerned indeed. And the fact that these legal migrants who are already on this barge are kicking off and not happy with their treatment, it just goes to show they're not here for safety from their own oh, apparently oppressive regimes. They're here for a free ride and get whatever they can from the British system. And it's a crying shame that not everyone can see this. And there we go. That's my video. That's what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout. Thank you.